Did you know that in Oppenheimer, Killian Murphy has worked with Christopher Nolan on six films, including Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Inception, Dunker, and Oppenheimer. Murphy has played a variety of supporting roles in Nolan's films, but Oppenheimer marks the first time he has played the lead role. Did you know that in Barbie, Dua Lipa has been confirmed to star in the Barbie movie as a mermaid? The news was announced on the official Barbie movie Twitter account on June 2023. The tweet features a poster of Lipa as the mermaid. This also marks her first major acting role. In addition to her role as Mermaid Barbie, Dua Lipa has also recorded a special song for the Barbie movie. The song is titled Dance the Night. Did you know that in Little Mermaid, the hair designer for the film, Camille Friend, stated that the iconic red hair of Ariel cost $150,000 to create. The hair was made using a combination of human and synthetic hair, and it took Friend and her team 12 to 14 hours to apply it to Hal Bailey's head. The hair was also specially designed to float and move realistically underwater. The high cost of Ariel's hair is attributed to several factors, including the cost of materials, the time and skill required for its application, as well as the need for durability and realism. Did you know that in Transformers Rise of the Beast, in an interview, director Stephen Capel Jr. confirmed that Optimus Prime's face in the film was visually based on the face of Peter Cullen, who has voiced the character since the 1980s. My name is Optimus Prime, from the planet Cybertron. Capel Jr. said that he wanted to give Prime a more human-like appearance and that Cullen's face was a perfect inspiration. Peter Cullen has been the voice of Optimus Prime for over 40 years, and he's brought so much humanity to the character. Did you know that in Coco? In the original script, Miguel, portrayed by Anthony Gonzalez, was only supposed to play the guitar. Gonzalez was 12 years old when he took on the role of Miguel and had no prior acting experience, but he was a talented singer. When director Lee Unkrich heard Anthony Gonzalez sing, he was so impressed that he decided to change the script so that Miguel would also sing. He said that Gonzalez had a beautiful voice and natural charisma, which captured the essence of Miguel in his singing. Did you know that in The Whale, Brendan Fraser had to wear a heavy prosthetic suit for his role in The Whale? The suit weighed over 90 kilograms and was more than 60 centimeters thick in some sections, requiring four crew members to apply it. Fraser said that wearing the suit was a physically demanding experience, but it also allowed him to connect with the character on a deeper level. He even felt a sense of vertigo at the end of the day when all the appliances were removed. Did you know that in Harry Potter, Emma Watson, the actress who portrayed Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series, did consider leaving the franchise at one point. She expressed feeling overwhelmed by the intense spotlight and the challenges of fame, which sometimes made her feel isolated. However, Emma Watson ultimately decided to continue playing the role of Hermione Granger until the end of the series. Her portrayal of Hermione Granger was indeed significant and memorable, and the character played a crucial role in Harry Potter's life throughout the series. If you like this, subscribe!